What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023, where the multiverse saga for Marvel Studios is about to get very, very interesting. And it looks like Marvel fans are going to be extremely happy with how some things are panning out for Avengers The King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. In fact, today we're going to be talking about some major cameos in the Secret Wars film and some plot details that have recently been revealed. Details about both the King Dynasty and Secret Wars, but most importantly, who is going to show up and have a scene together? In a brand new exciting report, we've heard that Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man are going to get a scene together where they fight alongside each other. And this is kind of wish fulfillment for Kevin Feige, but also part of a big plan that he has for Secret Wars. So let's break down this plan, talk about the scene with Hugh Jackman and Tobey Maguire, and talk about these plot details for Secret Wars and the Kang Dynasty. Now, first things first, what you need to know about the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars is it's basically a two-part movie. It's pretty much going to be just like Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. The only difference is, and it's a great difference, is that we don't have to wait a full year to see Secret Wars after the Kang Dynasty, which is great because it looks like there is going to be a lot of things in Secret Wars that fans are just absolutely going to lose their minds about, starting with a scene with Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Now, if you started to love Marvel way back in 2000 with the release of the first X-Men movie, there's going to be so much that you love about Secret Wars, mainly because many of the actors and characters from those old movies that exist outside of the MCU are most likely going to show up in Secret Wars. Today we have a report from My Time to Shine Hello, an insider account that is very accurate with a lot of leaks that she scoops. And recently she tweeted, yes, Tobey Maguire and Hugh Jackman will meet and fight alongside each other in Secret Wars. Again, every Marvel's fan's dream come true. The two characters and actors that really started off Marvel on the big screen, that is. Hugh Jackman's Wolverine debuted in the first X-Men film in the year 2000. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man debuted two years after in 2002. So these two are basically the pioneers of New Age Marvel on the big screen. And it's fantastic that the two of them are going to meet because that just makes perfect sense. Now, as far as how they are going to meet, we have those details. We've known them for quite a bit. But as far as how the actual timeline is going to go for the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, we have a little bit of a better understanding now. Of course, we know that that Kang is going to threaten the entire multiverse. He is trying to conquer it. He is trying to conquer every single universe out there. And the big problem is, and the story from Secret Wars and the comics, is that we are going to experience incursions, universes colliding into each other. And as John Krasinski's Mr. Fantastic explained in the Multiverse of Madness, this isn't good. This can cause one or both of the universes to be completely destroyed. So in a way, there are kind of two threats that the Avengers and the rest of the heroes heroes are going to have to deal with. Both are caused by Kang, but one is Kang himself, and the other is the multiverse simply falling apart and incursions happening, which could result in the death of the entire multiverse. And this is what they explained to us very well in Loki. Not only did Miss Minutes kind of tell us the whole entire story about the big multiversal war, but then He Who Remains told us a somewhat different story, but the reality is both of the stories combined are true, minus the timekeepers. The multiversal war did cause a bunch of incursions, which only almost did cause the collapse of the entire multiverse, but at the same time, Kang variants were battling each other and fighting for control over the entire multiverse. But when are we going to see all of this happen in the MCU in Phase 5 and Phase 6 exactly? Well, according to another report from the account My Time to Shine Hello, she says this is how they plan to make Secret Wars work without making it a four-hour movie. Side note, I would love for it to be a four-hour movie, but you can't always get what you want. But finishing her report, she stated, this is how they plan to make Secret Wars work without making it a four-hour movie. Kang Dynasty will have the new Avengers as the leads, while Secret Wars will mostly be from the point of view and will focus on the heroes from the other universes. So the Kang Dynasty sets up the new Avengers team, but Secret Wars is going to be about the multiversal team. And this is extremely cool because it offers a very different storytelling perspective than anything that we've really experienced in the MCU so far. We got a tiny taste of it with Multiverse of Madness, but Secret Wars is really going to dive into different stories 
storylines in different universes, all happening at the same time. And we're going to see all of these teams have to communicate with each other and have to work together. So a multiversal team will be formed. And also, at the same time, some of these universes are going to be colliding with each other, so some of these teams are indeed going to end up in the same universe as each other, whether that's by choice or not, due to an incursion. And here's something to think about. Out of all of the other universes out there that we're going to come in contact with, that our Avengers team is going to come in contact with, we're probably not the most advanced universe. In fact, in Multiverse of Madness, their universe, their Earth, Earth 838, did seem to be more advanced than ours, especially if you take a look at how Mr. Fantastic entered the room. I'm the smartest man alive, Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. Hello, Stephen. And they actually did know about incursions, something our universe, or at least the protector of reality of our universe, Doctor Strange, didn't know about, and I doubt that this is the most technologically advanced universe out there. In fact, I'm assuming that there's another universe out there that has figured out how to scientifically travel the multiverse. However, they don't do it because they don't want to risk incursions. And I'm also willing to bet that it's a variant of Reed Richards that has figured this out, or maybe even our Reed Richards is going to be the one to figure out how to multiverse Jump. But the great part of this is it will ultimately lead to scenes between many heroes that we know and love interacting with each other, like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. And not only are these characters going to meet each other, but they're going to fight alongside each other, fighting against Kang and his army, which I'm assuming, based off of some rumors that we've heard, is also going to consist of some variants of characters who are maybe not so good in some other universes, but are bad and fighting alongside Kang. So truly, as I've been saying, anything is possible in this movie. Wolverine and Spider-Man are going to interact, but there's going to be other characters as well. Think about Ben Affleck's Daredevil interacting with our Daredevil, Charlie Cox. Think about Patrick Stewart's Professor Xavier interacting with Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool, something that I think Ryan Reynolds has been wanting to do for a very long time. And then, of course, let's not forget about some variants of some dead Avengers. They could also be coming back as well. Robert Downey Jr. could come back as a variant of Iron Man, or he could even play another character. Perhaps in another universe, he goes on to become Captain America. His father was directly involved with the Captain America project, so who knows? Also, Black Widow has been rumored to be coming back in Secret Wars as well. This just makes sense. And it's probably going to be very emotional for some of our heroes to interact with these variants of characters that they've lost. Think about Professor Hulk seeing Natasha in another universe. Think about Tom Holland's Spider-Man seeing Tony Stark from another universe. That's going to be very emotional. But the cool part is, is basically if you can think about it, it's possible. But I'm sure it's not all going to be good. I'm sure some of our heroes are actually going to clash heads and possibly fight with other heroes, because I'm sure each different universe and all of its variants aren't exactly going to agree on a plan right away. I'm sure there's going to be some type of a council where they all talk about what they agree would be the best plan, and I'm sure it's not all going to be agreed upon right away. So seeing a little friendly fight, but also not so friendly fight, between the variants who are all trying to work together is also possible and something I hope we do see. No deaths or anything like that, but kind of like how Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man had a little fight with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man that, but hopefully times 10 because that was way too short. But the timeline for when to expect all of this is going to be in Secret Wars. So don't expect much from the Kang Dynasty as far as multiverse jumping is concerned. That movie is mainly going to be about the new Avengers. But then in Secret Wars, that's when the multiversal jumping is really going to happen and the big multiversal team of heroes is going to come together to fight Kang. So let us know what you think about this down below below. Also, let us know who you would love to see interact with each other, whether that's characters from the Fox X-Men universe or the MCU or both. Let us know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. And you can always follow us on Instagram and Twitter. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf.